Good morning. And I've got a really quick one for you this morning talking about how to set up an external SD card for use with the Anburnic RG350 or the Retro Game 350. Now, this is not how to set up the internal SD card and it's not going to show you how to change your firmware. So if you're interested in that, click off now and go and look for another video. But this will help you get your games onto an external SD card, get them plugged into your Anburnic and get them working. And the reason I'm making this video is because I've been asked about this several times now because people have tried putting games on an SD card and they haven't been able to use them. Now, the main reason this might be the case is because they've got an SD card and it's not formatted correctly because most SD cards these days are formatted as XFAT and the format that you'll need for the RG350 is FAT32. So let me show you what I mean. If we go into File Explorer and we go down here, you'll see I've got a drive already set up as I've called it RG350. But if you look, if I go down, if I right click and I select Properties, if we just have a look at this, you'll see it says RG350 and then File System is XFAT. Now, what I could do is I could drag some games. I've got some games here and I could drag those games across. But when I go to use those games on the RG350, it's not going to see them. And the reason for that is, as I say, that the drive is set as XFAT. So we're going to need to change it. Now, normally what you would do to reformat a, a drive, an SD card, would be you would go and you would right click and you would select format and if you look here we've got the option to format it says file system xfat and this is a really small drive that i'm using here this is just one i had lying around just to show how to do this and if you drop down the arrow you'll see we've got ntfs fat32 and xfat now what you'll find is with most modern sd cards you won't have the fat32 option under windows you'll have ntfs and you'll have XFAT, but you will not have FAT32. The reason I've got FAT32 is because, as I say, this is a really small SD card. So what do you do? How can you format the drive to <laughs> FAT32 if Windows won't let you? Well, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get a third-party tool. And if you can see here, I've got Mini Tool Partition Wizard, I think it's called. You're going to need to download that or another partition tool. And let's just go in quickly. If you can see here, we've got partition wizard com download HTML. And that's where you'll need to go to get this particular tool. And you just want the free edition. And then you just do local download and you can download it and install it from there. Once you've done that, you should be good to go. So as I say, I've got it already installed here. So I will double click that and it will ask me do I want to load it up which I do and then it will bring up this menu and you want to select launch application and then it will load up excuse me that's my phone it'll load up the petition wizard and it's showing it's asking me do I want a newer version and I don't so basically now you've got this screen up if you look you want to go all the way down the bottom disk 6 and you can see that it's the 7.4 gig which is the same as this one and this is showing slightly more 7.94 or something but it's basically the same drive and you do want to make sure that you get exactly the correct drive if you start selecting one of these and trying to format it you could run into all sorts of problems so i can't stress this highly enough make sure you select the right drive now if you now right click on this one you've got format you could actually uh, delete this completely and you'll find if if the drive that you're using is set like this if you look at disk 2 here you've got other and it's it's got two partitions you may need to delete the partitions if you do that and let's just do that now if i if i make sure i'm still on disk 6 right click it and select delete and there you can see it says unallocated and if you had two partitions that's what it would do it'd get rid of both partitions so then you can right click it again, you can click create, you can give it a name, 
going to call it RG350 and leave everything as default apart from you want to change this to FAT32 and select OK. And there you go. You've got this drive has now been set as FAT32. The other way of doing this is if you've only got one partition, as it's showing here, you can just right click it and choose Format. And then again, you can give it a label. Select FAT32, leave the cluster size as default and OK it. And as you can see, it's done, although it hasn't actually changed anything on the drive at this stage. You can undo it or you can select apply. And if you select apply, it'll do just that. It'll apply it. So let's just do that now. And it says we strongly recommend you close all programs, blah, blah, blah. So let's just select yes. And now it's going to format the hard drive or format the SD card. Oh, show me down the bottom there. New, de new device detected, disk storage, RG350H. So, yeah, OK that. And now that's all you need to do there. So we can shut that down. And if we right click and select File Explorer, and then go to RG350H and you can call it whatever you like. There's no, uh, you know, no restrictions on what you can call it, but I've called it RG350 and it's ready to go. So now you can put your games on there. So here I've got this folder here and it's got some games in. Let's just drag that across. I've got Game Boy Advance, Nintendo NES, Nintendo SNES, Sega Master System and Sega Mega Drive. So you can select those and just drag them to the drive and they're on there and you can see I've only just put a, one, you know, a few of each not very much just as a way of showing it there you go there's the, the, the games in there just a small selection I'm not going to be keeping those on there and I can shut that down and that's it if we go if we right click it just to show you properties FAT32 so it's set as FAT32, it's got some games on there. You can eject it, right click it and select eject. As it says, safe to remove hardware. You can take the uh, SD card out of your PC, plug it into your RG350 and away you go. You should be able to play the games. The only uh, caveat is obviously you have to make sure that you've got your games in the correct format for the emulators that you're using on the RG350, but that's for another day. Anyway, I'm done. I will speak to you guys in the next one. And uh, yeah, I'm going to go and grab myself a cup of tea. Bye.